Hello, my name is Daniel, and in this video, basically what we're going to be doing is just moving this chunk of code to another file and then importing that file to create the same program. So basically, just move this to another file and then call it. So yeah, alright, so first off, let's just copy this and create a new file called um, input uh, box bala. So let me show you guys. So it's right there, bam, input box .bala. So as always, we're going to do using GTK. Oops. Oh, come on, man. Using GTK. There we go. And then we're going to create a namespace. And let's just call it my input box. This is just an example. So namespaces are basically just a collection of things that are related. For example, in GTK, you have all the widgets. And they're all under the GDK. GTK. So yeah. Just as a quick example, so let's create a class. Uh, let's just call it input box. <clears throat> it inherits from GTK. That um, what is it? Box. There you go. How can I forget? Now public input box. Yes, there you go. And it's gonna take a GTK orientation, orientation, lowercase, and then uh, it's gonna take an int spacing. There you go. Yeah, that should work. Now and we can just paste in the code that we copied. And why as always. Wow. So let's see, let's just paste it now. Okay, cool. And we're gonna have to fix a couple of things. For example, this line right here. Bam 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 bam. Alright. So in Bala, the way you call constructors is by using this thing called base. So in Python or Java, it's the equivalent of super. In C++, I have no idea because I haven't used that in the longest. But yeah. So anyways, you for most cases, you use base. But also, there's something in uh, Bala that sometimes base won't allow you. It'll say chain up error or something like that. And whenever that happens, this is basically what you do. You do object that's it and then pass in the parameters that's it but uh, it's a little different because you have to specify what attribute you wanna add so for example uh, for this one GTK box if I use base and then I just pass orientation and spacing it's not gonna work it's gonna give me a chain up error so I'm gonna do object slash orientation and then orientation so this is basically saying get the attribute orientation from GTK box and set it to the one that I'm receiving in the parameter. Also as well as for this one spacing and then spacing for the one that I'm receiving in the parameter. So yeah. And then just end it. So yeah, there you go. Now we create the same, everything the same thing. Instead of a text box, it's just this. So let's just change it to this. This dot add e. Yep. Sounds about right. Mm, yeah, everything works all right. If not, well, we'll see it in compile time. So let's just get rid of this. And where are we? Yes, right here. So right here we added the text box, but we no longer have a text box. We are now uh, going to use the other file. So by using the other file, we do my input box. Uh, input box and then pass in the parameters so what is the GTK orientation the vertical and then what I say for padding I think it was 10 oh well and then we gotta put the new parameter in here new there you go uh, let's see think this should work and also I like to put this using my input box that's how I named it right yeah my input box so right here I'm saying I'm going to use this namespace my input box and then over here I create it technically I can just have it like this since I already imported the namespace but I like to do it like that more typing yeah I know whatever all right now let's compile it so we, if we do balak uh, package gtk oops package equals gtk plus minus 3.0 and then simple and then input box it should compile and it's taking its sweet time 
All right, if I do ls, there's the executable. If I run the executable, bam, same thing. And to show you guys that I'm not lying, we'll go to the input, and instead of printing all of this, the only thing it's going to print is hello me. Uh, okay, let's go to the shell, let's compile again. Uh oh, I screwed up. What I do? Input box, line 13. Oh, we got this. Okay, cool. There you go. Run the executable. And it has to print hello me. There you go. Simple as that. Well, that was surprisingly fast. I thought this was going to take longer. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's it. Sweet. I'm done. Sweet. That was actually pretty fast. All right.